okay uh, though I'm going to draw a diagram of a temperature of a temperature control on Simulink MATLAB okay let's start now I'll open my MATLAB first Uh, sorry, my computer is a little bit slow. I'm sorry about that. I need a more powerful computer. So now I open my Simulink to to start to start my drawing of my diagram of a temperature control with a PID controller on Simulink MATLAB. Oh, it's a little bit slow. Okay, uh, now it's ready. Let's start. Just follow me. First, I need a constant. I need a constant. Okay. Five, Secondly, I need to compare. Like, I need the block for the comparison. So, so the sum. the fact I want to do a comparison I need to change change here to do it nice and third one I'm going to know what I'm going to need this group. like a corrector so yeah it's going for and later on I'm going to need a simulating signal to a physical signal converter so this simulating PS converter simulating signal to a physical signal converter. Also going to need a physical signal to a simulating signal converter. And I'm going to put right here. I'm also going to need an idea temperature size. You need ideal temperature sensor. And now to 
be able to launch my simulation and need a solver configuration. The solver configuration is a block which specifies the solver parameter that my model or my diagram need before I can begin the simulation. So without that, I can launch my simulation. So I'm going to type solver configuration. Now I have it. Okay, I can start my wiring now. Don't forget, I also need a thermal reference. Thermal reference. I need to put my constant at. I would like to put it at 10. Like, it's hard to tell. Okay. So now I can launch my simulation now. Uh, the results I got, the, the, the temperature display. temperature is going up is trying to reach 10 the ideal temperature we would like to have because we would like to have a temperature at 10 so here's how my system is going to, is, is going to behave so it can reach a signal at 10 but uh, if we try this one if we put at 8 Temperature at 8, you're going to see it's switching 8 much more faster than this one. So you see. So how is my temperature behave? Okay, let's do some modification here on my PID controller. Uh, let's put the proportional parameter at 0.9. And my integral at 0 0.4. Okay. Let's launch the simulation again and see how it's going to be. You see now? Now it's different. See how my temperature behaves. The output of my of my temperature control is behaving. So Here you can see so this was my temperature control uh, like tomorrow uh, the next time I'm going to do a temperature control with uh, by using a fuzzy a fuzzy logic by using a physiologic so a physiologic uh, we're going to I'm going to use a physiologic to replace the PID controller and see how my system behave now and with the similar logic, with the fuse, the, with the fuse logic is going to behave much more better because uh, a system is when it's very fast. So my system is supposed to reach the temperature we, we want at the output very fast. Then, so the faster my system is to reach uh, my reference, the much better my 
my system uh, my system is so thank you very much for your attention don't forget to subscribe and bye bye